Hello and welcome back to our 2019 to 2020 playoff predictions. It's going to be a great playoffs, I hope. I think. Um, unfortunately, the Patriots didn't make a bye for the first time in like 10 years, which stinks. But here we are. Um, with each matchup, we're going to go over each team and who I think is going to win. Of course, these are my opinions. You're probably going to disagree because I did make some semi outlandish picks i would say but um i'm pretty confident in what i did just kidding i could have none of these work i could have all these work i'd still move on with my life so here we go um our first matchup is the buffalo bills and the houston texans i think this is a, a pretty interesting matchup it's in houston of course as the texans won their division and i think the bills had a phenomenal year they lost to the Jets, whatever, they didn't really try. Lost the two losses to the Patriots. I uh, lost to the Ravens and one other. I can't think of it. Um, it. It's a tough, tough schedule. And they still managed to win 10 games. I think Josh Allen's progressing well. He's still making not the best frees in this run game. Still isn't at its peak, but I think this team is very good. And that's why I have them beating the Texans. I think the Texans have too many holes on this team. Uh, in the secondary, basically in their defense, even getting J.J. Watt back. I'm not convinced this pass rush can handle Josh Allen's on the ground. I think he'll run all over them. I think we will be able to pass the guys like John Brown, Cole Beasley, who's one of the better slot receivers. I think they're going to move on to play the Baltimore Ravens. And that kind of gives away my next game, which is the Patriots and the Titans. And I think New England's going to win this one. I'll tell you earlier now. Um, I think New England... As bad as they've looked at some points, this defense is still very good. Gilmore is still very good, even in, with a bad game, which I was actually at. Sad enough that it is. Uh, Titans, Ryan Tannehill, I think the magic runs out for this playoff game. You come to Foxborough at night, Saturday, Saturday night football, and it's just not going to work. Derrick Henry might run for 200 yards, but I still don't think the Titans are going to win. A great season, but bye-bye Tennessee. Now we move over to the NFC side in the wild card, and we have the Minnesota Vikings going to New Orleans to face the Saints in a rematch of the Minneapolis Miracle, except the home teams are switched. And I don't think this game will be close. It's going to be a blowout. New Orleans is going to crush them like 34-10 or something like that. This New Orleans team is just very, very good. And I think this Minnesota team is not that good, even with Dalvin Cook. Kirk Cousins still can't win a big game, and... Uh, New Orleans is heading to the Divisional to play Green Bay. And the final matchup of Wild Card Weekend is the Seattle Seahawks heading to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. And I also don't think this will be that close. I initially was contemplating picking the Eagles, um, but I did pick the Seahawks mainly because the Seahawks have looked so great this year. They're also 7-1 on the road, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so I think they're going to do very well in Philadelphia. It's not an easy environment, and I think Russell Wilson is going to do great. I don't think Marshawn Lynch is going to do all that great, but I think it's going to be a pretty easy matchup. I think Wentz will be a little over, well, over antsy and going to throw a few interceptions, so we'll see. All right, so that was a pretty relatively normal wild card. And now it gets a little uh, dicey. Uh, in our first big kind of upset in the Bills-Ravens, I do have the Bills, and hear me out. The Ravens team with Lamar Jackson is inexperienced. Not to say the Bills team isn't inexperienced as well. I think this is a very toss-up kind of game. And if you remember the Bills, I don't remember what week it was, but they almost beat the Ravens earlier this year. One of the few teams almost did. And the Ravens, this offense can look shaky against a very, very good defense like Buffalo has. If Josh Allen just gets a couple deep shots to John Brown, he gets over Marcus Peters, gets over Earl Thomas, this, this game could turn around in a hurry and the Bills could run away with it. I don't think it'll be a blowout. I think it'll be something like 17-14 Buffalo or 16-14 Buffalo winning on the last second field goal. But I do have an upset and it is Buffalo over Baltimore. Crazy. I'm ready for the hate. Now in our other AFC Divisional, we have the New England Patriots heading to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. And I'm a little worried about this game for New England. I know they've made the conference championship like a trillion times in the past five years or 10 years or whatever and I am a Patriots fan but I really can't see them winning an arrowhead this year they haven't played all that well on the road nor at home to be fair uh, Tom Brady I love the guy my favorite athlete of all time will always be even if he leaves I don't care he's just looked a little shaky and I'm a bit concerned he can't 
make his reads well. This defense looks a little, I don't know, against late in the year. Teams are starting to figure out their tendencies and their trends and how they play. And it's an interesting, not very good thing for New England. And Kansas City is looking really good. This offense is with Patrick Mahomes, who's, I still think, the best quarterback in the NFL right now. It's just looking great. Michael Hardman, Terry Kill gives you an aspect that just no other team has. They, this vertical offense is just unbelievable. And even with Damian Williams being kind of not the best running back, they don't need it. This defense, losing Juan Thornhill really hurts. And I think this might make it close. But I do think Kansas City is going to win a tight one, maybe 24-21 or 31-27. Now on the NFC side, I'm going to call this an upset. I took the Packers over the Saints. And hear me out. I know the Packers have the bye, but I still think the Saints are the better team. But I love that Aaron Rodgers magic. I think Drew Brees and Michael Thomas will falter. I think um, the Packers will figure out how to stop him and just him, whether that be triple or quadruple coverage. I don't care. I know the Packers only have one wide receiver, but that could be enough to win this game. Their pass rush is elite with Darius Smith and Preston Smith coming after Brees. They're going to get to him a couple times. Ramchek is vulnerable, even though he doesn't look it, even though he looks unbelievable. I think they can get to him. I think the Packers, Aaron Rodgers pull something out of his ass and they win like 30 to 29 or some crazy thing like that. And now what I think would be the game of the week and what I think everyone wants to see is a Niners Seahawks rematch after that crazy week 17 game where the Niners won by literally zero feet, maybe an inch. I don't know. The ball was as close as you can get, but I think the Niners and Seahawks are a great matchup, again, this time in Candlestick. <laughs> I said Candlestick, oh boy. Uh, in San Francisco, I don't even know what the stadium's called anymore, I just call it Candlestick. And I think the Niners are going to come away with the win. I think Jimmy G is going to play very well. He's sat behind Tom in the playoffs, he knows what to do, he understands the atmosphere, and I think he's going to do very well. I think this team is absolutely loaded with talent i don't know if nick bosa is going to play that big of a role in this game i think seattle might shut him down i don't think marshall lynch is going to play any role in this game i think d ford is going to have a couple of big sacks maybe a strip and i think richard sherman is going to get a pick late to seal this one for seattle now we move on to the afc championship and we do have the buffalo bills heading to arrowhead to play the kansas city chiefs and this game unlike Buffalo, Baltimore, I don't think will be close. I think Kansas City is going to blow them out. They're going to play this vertical style offense that's just going to murder Buffalo. Josh Allen's going to be overwhelmed in this crazy atmosphere. I think Kansas City is going to win like 30-13 to or 31-10 or something insane. And the Kansas City Chiefs will head to their first Super Bowl since, what, Super Bowl one, Something crazy like that. Now on the NFC side, we have a classic matchup of 49ers and Packers. This game is going to be great as well. I think the Niners are going to play very well down the stretch. I think the Packers might come out to an early like 13, 16 nothing lead like they always do and then blow it. And I think the Niners are going to head to the Super Bowl. And I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to handle himself a lot better than people might think. I think he's going to limit his turnovers. I can't even speak in this video for some reason. And Aaron Rodgers is going to make one or two mistakes down the stretch, throw a pick, Maybe Fred Warner over the middle, not see his read correctly, and they're going to lose. I think it's going to be something like 27 to 18 or 27 19. Someone's going to have to go for two or miss an extra point or something. It's it's not going to be that close score wise, but I think the game is going to be very close. And now our Super Bowl penultimate match is set. We have the Kansas City Chiefs and San Francisco 49ers heading down to Miami to play in Super Bowl 54. We're gonna call it 54. And this game I think will be electrifying. I think we'll see our highest scoring Super Bowl ever, shattering records that were in 52 with the Patriots and the Eagles. I think this game could end 50 to 45. It'll be that ridiculous. This Niners defense is gonna play terrible. They've never seen an offense like this. And this Chiefs defense, which is which isn't good besides Tyron Matthew, is gonna play absolutely terrible as well. I think we could see a 50 to 45 game. This will be an unbelievable Super Bowl. Go down as the best game ever played. And in the end, I do have the San Francisco 49ers winning. I think Garoppolo passes to Kittle. They won't be able to stop Kittle. Matthew doesn't have the size. They don't have the linebacking help. Thornhill won't be there, most likely. He could. Still won't stop Kittle. Kittle will have 200 yards receiving. 
but Terry Kill will have four touchdowns. It'll be an unbelievable game, but I think the Niners will have a turnover down the stretch or a late touchdown to win the game. Thanks for watching, uh, and remember these are predictions, not guarantees, so of course, none of this could happen, all this could happen, who knows. New England will probably win the Super Bowl again because it's New England. Uh, I'd be very happy, uh, but I could see many games flip-flopping, like Saints-Packers, of course, the Ravens could also win the Super Bowl. I had them losing in the first round. You never know, the Texans could get to the AFC Championship. It It's all a crapshoot at this point. And, uh, but thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have. Probably haven't because like 99% of my viewership is unsubscribed. What, whatever. Uh, by the time I'm releasing this video, we almost have 1,700 subscribers. Uh, I hope to hit 2,000 relatively soon. I know that's kind of crazy, but... Hopefully, um, leave any video ideas that you'd want me to do, whatever it is, I'd do anything, um, in the comments below, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Who knows when that'll be, but I'll see you then.